sometimes very difficult to style, it just sticks the way it's been implanted. Welcome back to yet another exciting update uh, on my hair transplant journey. My name is Rolandes and I had a few procedures done with Dr. Bruno Ferreira in Portugal. Uh, a bit more than 3,600 grafts implanted in the frontal area. And now it's officially six and a half months after my procedure. And today we're gonna look as always at uh, close-ups, um, hairline, my donor area, how everything looks and how everything is going on. But before we start, if you see my face for the first time, I mean, my hair. Make sure to subscribe right now so you stay updated on my first hair transplant journey. That's right, first. Obviously, I'm planning to have a second uh, hair transplant done in the future to cover my mid scalp and crown. Here it comes! As you see, it's pretty bald in there, but uh, nevertheless. That's what she said. Uh, so far, I'm extremely happy. Oh. If some of you guys are something around six month mark after your hair transplant procedure then and uh, you don't see as much let's say hair as I do for example don't get discouraged it's absolutely normal people like me uh, they're considered an kind of an early growers even though in my case I'm not extremely early grower uh, but I've seen plenty of people that at, at around six month mark they had just an outline of their uh, new hairline that was you know implanted and the new growth starts only from six months so for me everything started to grow at four months so you might be possibly a couple of months you know a bit later but it doesn't mean your hair is not gonna grow so make sure to uh, don't freak out stay the course wait at least 12 months and only then assess and anyways i know a lot of you guys are here just uh, to see my close-ups on my hairline how it progressed so far so without further ado let's jump right into it in the recent days there was no sound whatsoever and i was trying to push further and further uh, but it seems like uh, the, the, the whole week already is just raining without any sun. So obviously my close-ups are not gonna be overexposed uh, with direct sunlight as I always do. But nevertheless, I'm still in front of the window. It's pretty uh, bright outside. It's not like very dark. So you still can have a clear idea how it looks.
thinking that all my new hairs already sprouted and it's basically as a matter of uh, maturation of new hairs. Uh, but I was actually pretty surprised for the last couple of weeks uh, that uh, I've seen a few hairs here and there sprouting. Uh, even in the hairline, that's basically the place that uh, you can see the hair the easiest. But nevertheless, it was extremely encouraging to see even more hair coming through. And obviously the, the rest of the hair was getting thicker and stronger, which is uh, great to see. So obviously uh, gives me a overall better illusion of density. I always forgetting to show you guys my donor area only because I'm so confident that it just looks pretty much untouched even one month after my procedure when I bust my hair to one millimeter only just to see how my scars looks like. And at, at that point already I was extremely happy and I wasn't bothered at all about it. Also I've done a skin fade uh, on my donor area five months after my procedure just to see how at that point my donor area could possibly look because they say uh, the average uh, downtime for donor to heal is uh, roughly five months. So if that's something you're looking for, make sure to check out this video right here. So I've seen a couple of people still doubting whether or not I, my hair gonna get thicker. Guys, don't forget, it's only six and a half months. The final result comes from at least 12 months. So <laughs> there is still a long way to go. If everything like that grew quite quickly, it doesn't mean it's the end. It actually means that we're just getting started. And to kind of give you a little bit of understanding why I'm so confident in that, let's have a look at the numbers. My hair per graft ratio was 2.73, which is uh, which is considered quite high, where the average is between 2 and 2.2. So as a result, I had 9,986 hairs implanted just in the front. Of course, it's worth mentioning that my surgery was not going smoothly whatsoever. Like on the very first day, I had so much popping going on. And if you're curious what popping is, it's basically when someone is implanting the graft and the surrounding grafts are popping out. The most dreaded complication. The popping is directly related to the elasticity of the skin. The surgeon has to go back, push it back and make sure the graft is uh, on the right depth. But because the graft has been manipulated so many times when you're pushing it back to the slit, it can greatly decrease the survival rate of the grafts. At the beginning, I was actually pretty worried. I was not expecting, to be honest, uh, such a result that I've got right now. And you would understand why I was thinking this way, because my, especially my first day of the surgery was very long. Uh, Dr. Ferrer said I had like almost all the grafts, like around 70-80% of grafts were popping out. It was extremely difficult, there was a lot of bleeding and popping was obviously caused mainly due to my elastic skin, over elastic, because I used to do a lot of, um, a lot of scalp massages. So yeah, during my second day of my surgery, Dr. Ferreira uh, decided to completely change his approach. Instead of extracting all of the grafts and then implanting all of them right away, he decided to extract like a little bit and then implant right away, then again extract and then again implant and spread them around uh, around uh, the whole recipient area. So he doesn't have to go close next to each other. So basically minimizing the chance of popping. It went actually extremely well. The second day was almost no popping whatsoever. And I'm extremely grateful that I actually went to Dr. Ferrer just because of this. Like who knows if I would went to some, you know, cheap Turkish clinic, how they would handle this situation, you know what I mean? Especially some technicians would be doing my surgery. I'm pretty sure that the survival would be absolutely terrible and I would never have growth like I've got right now. And also give you as a reference uh, what's the natural hair density basically is in, uh, in terms of uh, grafts per square centimeter. In my case, I had between 80 and 90 grafts per square centimeter in my donor area, which means that's my natural density. And I had implanted between 45 and 55 uh, grafts per square centimeter in my recipient area over here. So a little bit more than half of my native density, which should technically create a pretty good illusion of density that should look almost similar to a full set of hair. I actually realized I never actually showed you guys how, <laughs> how my hair looks like uh, when it's brushed forward. So let's do it. What do you think? It looks so weird, I already get used to spike my hair up. Of course, uh, at this stage, the hair is a little bit uh, still kind of wiry, kinky, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's very difficult to style it because it just sprouted. And for the transplanted hair to fully attain this uh, natural, like a native kind of style, you will need to wait at least like, you know, 12 to 18 months. 
so you know your transplanted hair gonna become pretty much your like your native hair so right now it's like it feels a bit thicker it feels even a bit darker uh yeah if it's even darker a little bit than my donor i think it's some some uh, in some light conditions and it's uh it kind of grows a little bit in uh i mean it grows it grows in the nice angles over here especially the clo temporal closures temporal pig when they've been closed they, they grow in a very, very natural angles they've been planted in a very natural angles actually but right now it's sometimes very difficult to style it just sticks the way it's been implanted you know and that's it like you cannot really manipulate much like to the left or to the right unless obviously the hair is getting very long and only because it's uh, pretty much it's too early so if that's your case don't stress out you're gonna get better Anyways, that was it guys for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.